Oh, dude. Time for another beer review for this one. We're going back to Robinson's. And it is Trooper Sun and Steel. A Saki Lager by Iron Maiden. There's the artwork. It's 4.8% in a 330ml bottle. Um, I picked this up in b and I paid 89 pence for it. So it's an absolute steal. So I've had a few of the Maiden beers. Sun and Steel is a track from Iron Maiden's album, Peace of Mind, which is a pretty decent album. I think my favourite track off it's probably Flight of Icarus. I had a quick look at the playlist before I uh, started filming and that was the one that stood out to me. It's probably my favourite track off that album. So um, I've never had Saki to the best of my knowledge and Untapped has been playing about with their styles recently and have, have are recognising some new styles of beer and uh, they're classing this as a Koji forward slash, forward slash Jinjo beer and them names are given when Saki yeast or Koji enzymes are used in the beer according to the description that Untapped give an absolute shocking Nobhead paw there, um, that's terrible. So um, I'm quite excited by it because it's a new style for me. I'm not familiar with trying sake, so I really don't know what to expect here. So um, very clear, typical looking beer like a, a regular lager. Um, there is the occasional bubble going up to the top of a brilliant white head with a knobhead paw. So get the nose. Well, I don't know what I'm, I'm smelling for when I'm saying sake because I don't know what it tastes like, but for this beer, there is like a like a lemongrass up front. I mean, there's like a, a, like a peppery pepperiness coming off it. Yeah, lemongrass, I'd say. Right, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. It's solid. It's quite it's quite nice. Um slightly floral. Getting lemon. There's a slight biscuit vibe in it. Um it's decent, it's decent, it's got a decent body on it. The, there's not a, a lot of flavour. Um the flavours are very light in it, but it's an easy drinking, cheap inexpensive lager that's all right i could drink that again 89 pence i don't feel ripped off i would happily um go back and revisit this beer um it it's hard to say because like i say i've never had sake before so i don't know what i'm i'm comparing it to um but i quite i quite like it, it it's it just tastes like a pretty solid decent lager to me um I'll, I'll applaud um, Robinson's for using sake yeast because it is uh, an unusual um, yeast to use. We don't see it a lot over here. Like I say, this is the first time I've ever had this style of beer on, on Untapped, so it's it's new territory for me. But it's a, it was a, an interesting experience, and I'm, and I'm glad I tried it. There's not a lot to it. Like I say, the flavours are light. You initially get... Like I was saying, like a lemongrass uh, up front. And then it goes into a slight um, pepper finish. But it's decent, decent beer. So that is Sun and Steel. Um, I'm trying to think. I think I think the red and black part is probably my favourite out of the Iron Maiden beers. Um, the 666 version of Trooper, the 6.66% one that was on cask, wasn't bad either. But this is all right. Um, it's not going to... Um, change the world but it's a, it's a solid beer so that's that's sun and steel so i'll add that to my b&m playlist thank you for watching and on to the next one cheers